Hey guys, it's Music Tech Help Guy, and today I've got a real quick video for you. I want to show you how you can rebuild corrupted Logic Pro 10 projects. I did a video on this a long time ago. I think it was so long ago it was in Logic 9, so I figured I'd do an updated video for this. So I've got a Logic project here I'm working on, and um, I came back to it, double-clicked on it, tried to open it up. Logic starts to open up as it normally would, starts loading plugins, and it crashes and um, it keeps doing this. Uh, no matter what I do, I can't get it to open. I try restarting the computer, you know, I've tried a lot of things. So sometimes you'll run into a situation where a project just gets corrupted for some reason. Uh, in my experience, it hasn't happened very often, but it does happen from time to time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new logic project and I'm gonna load and import all of the data from this project into the new project. So I'll just create a new project here. All right, so what you're gonna do with your new blank project, you come up here, click on the browser, or press F to toggle this. Then you're gonna go to all files. Then you're gonna find the location of the old project. For me, it was on my desktop, it was under audio projects, and it was under this guy's mix project I was working on. I was building out some new drums for him uh, for one of his songs, and uh, for whatever reason, the project got corrupted. So here's that project. I'll just uh, select it or double click on it and you'll see what it does here is it, it creates a list of all of the tracks in that project, all of the plugins, uh, the sends, IO, things like that. So uh, the first column here is all of the tracks. So the ones that are numbered are actual tracks like audio instrument tracks, We've got a drummer track, a couple other audio tracks, the stereo output, the ones that are not uh, numbered are your auxiliary channels. Um, so I've got a lot of aux tracks in this because I was doing a lot of processing on the drums. And then you've got uh, a list of all the different plugins that are used and so forth and so on. So all you have to do, if you want to import everything, is you just hit Command A to select all and just click on each one of these, just like so, to import everything in. Now if you want to exclude some things like I.O. settings, sends, plugins, automation, you can do that. Um, for instance, if you want to just import the data and nothing else, no plugins, no sends, no IO, nothing, nothing like that, just choose content and it'll just import, um, the audio and MIDI content. So once you're done with that, you just click add at the bottom. It's going to ask you a few questions, um, about importing aux channels. For me, I just want to add new aux channels for each of the auxes that I had in my original project. So I'll just click add all. It'll ask you if you want to import tempo information. I sure do and looks like I'm all set. Now this wasn't a full song, like I said, I was just rebuilding some drums for a mix. So I have the original reference tracks up here that are muted. Uh, I've got my original drums down here with some shaker loops. If I go into my mixer, um, all of my uh, drummer auxiliary channels are there. All of my processing auxiliary channels are there. I've got an extra master fader here, but that's no big deal, just delete it. Then I'll just make sure I save my new project here. I'll do, just do a save as here. Save it to the desktop. Let's call this new drums. I'm gonna save this in a folder instead of a package this time. And I'll just give this a listen and make sure everything's playing back okay. Yeah, everything's working just fine. I've rebuilt my corrupted project so I don't lose all of the work that I did on this project. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thanks for the support and thanks for watching.